Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do a chatty get ready with me tutorial on this look right here. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Hey guys, uh, I have a lot of newer stuff. Not a lot, I take that back. I have a few new products that I wanna play with. Um, mostly an eyeshadow palette and lipstick. I think everything else I used. <laughs> um, so maybe not so many, so much new stuff. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I think I'm going to do my eyes first just cause better shape than sorry. So I'm going to give them some definition using the elf eyeshadow tape. And you know, map out that look. So I'm going to use the ColourPop X's and O's palette. It's you can get it at Ulta. It's like an Ulta exclusive, I think. Um, so, how's everybody been? Uh, it has been somewhat of a struggle to get back on my normal schedule. To be honest, we went to Vegas a couple weeks ago, and ever since then, I'm kind of just been ugh. So, I'm just priming my eyelids with my concealer. I'm patting it out. And then I'm going to set my eyelids with the, like, cream shade in here. It's called Issues. So, but Vegas was a lot of fun. My daughter loved it. <laughs> I think she's more, she was more excited that, like, we weren't at home. I think that was, like, the bigger thing. And so... She really wants to go to Disneyland. And we'll take her one day. <laughs> so, what is new with everybody? Uh, my husband actually went to TwitchCon last weekend. And had so much fun. Him and my younger brother went. And so they were in San Diego. I was stuck at home with no car because we only have one car. <laughs> so that was always, that's always fun. Um, I'm going to go in with Stay Golden, which ironically is not golden. <laughs> And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. And so, they were in San Diego. And had tons of fun there. Um, which was kind of a bummer because our annual um, family camping trip, which literally my whole family goes to not just like my personal family personal not just like my immediate family that lives in my house like my dad and my mom go with my little sister my brothers go with their kids and their significant other like we all go and it's usually so much fun because where we go is on Mount Lemon here in Tucson and um it's really cool because you don't get any like cell phone reception up there, which means you really have to unplug, which is really great for us because we're all ways plugged in. Like, always. This shade is a lot more pigmented than a lot more pigmented than I anticipated. But beautiful nonetheless. Um, so like we didn't get to go because obviously I didn't have a car and we all pack way more stuff than we need to, so it's not like I could have gone with any of them, which, not a huge deal. Like, I'm just going to take a little bit more of the issues on my brush and just 
kind of diffuse the edges to make it like blended. So that was kind of a bummer, but other than that, my birthday's coming up this month. I am so excited. I'm always excited for my birthday. So I'll turn 29 this year, which, eh, whatever. <clears throat> so I don't know how big of a deal we're going to make it. I um, only told my husband that he has to make it a big deal by taking me out to dinner. Like, that's what I want. Because we do our best not to go out and splurge all the time. I'm taking hookie, which is right underneath. Which is a more terracotta brown shade. And, like, we're just gonna play. Um, well, like, that's all I told him. I was like, you take me out to dinner. Like, other than that, eh. Not really feeling the whole birthday vibe, even though that I'm excited it's my birthday. And then, um, next year, I've told everybody when I turn 30 <laughs> that, and I don't know if it's truly true, but there's a picture that I've seen on Facebook and stuff where this girl, it says this girl had um, a funeral for her 20s. So, like, she made everybody, like, dress up in black and the theme was, like, black and dark. And I was like, I'm going to do that. Not that my 20s were horrible and not that they were, like, super exciting. I just thought, eh, since we don't normally do anything super crazy for our birthdays anyway, that would be a fun little thing to do. So I'm definitely trying to keep that shade on the outer corner, which is, again, hooky. And in the crease, like not trying to take it too far up or too far down. Wanna normally just that's why I'm using such a small brush, and this is the Morphe 506 brush, which I think is perfect for like crease work and detail, um, versus like taking just a regular crease brush that'll get you more pigment everywhere this mainly keeps it you know right in that area and I love that okay. I'm gonna go back into stay golden I'm just gonna buff those two together so anybody like like love Halloween so like I love the ha Halloween don't get me wrong I do love it However, I'm not the whole, like, crazy makeup type lover. So if you're expecting a makeup look from me, you're not going to get it. At least nothing crazy and anything or anything like that. It could literally just be a costume that, or a makeup look that's wearable for any costume that you're doing. Yeah. Like, an everyday look that you could wear for your costume. It's more than likely what it'll be. Let's be honest. I'm not... Like, I'm creative, but I'm not that creative, and I'm not that artistic. Let's let's put it that way. I'm not that artistic to be able to be like, boom, check out this skull face, or boom, check out this clown face, or ooh, check out this half-peeling face. No, that's not, mm -mm. that is not me at all. So I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of smitten here in the corner, and then I might top a little bit of that in the middle. We'll see. Um, and I'm just going to use my finger like I normally do. And this is a really cool, like, duochrome shade. Let's go all over. Um, so if you expect any of those types of look from me, you'll have to wait a little bit longer and possibly forever. <laughs> just to let y'all know. Um, it's One, a lot of looks have really been done like literally I think every makeup look so if I'm giving you something it's really nothing new and also like same with like Halloween looks I think almost everything has been done to the point that if you looked um for it you would probably already find it so 
hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that won't be happening here. I'm getting fall vibes, guys. <laughs> I'm just going to take a little bit more hooky. I didn't at first. I was just doing what was ever left. But I'm going to really clean that up a little bit. Make it seamless. Yeah, that's where, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm going to take No Butter, which is a little... I won't say it's a pressed glitter, but it is a little chunky. And I'm just going to dab that all over where I can. Kind of give like a spotlight or a halo effect without actually doing a halo. More of a spotlight. And again, I'm just using my finger. So it may be better to like put more of a sticky base down. We'll see. So far, I have a little bit of glitter fallout from it, but nothing bad. So like it's not a super chunky glitter, I will tell you that. But there is glitter on it. I take this brush that has nothing on it and I'm gonna go in with Smitten just a little bit and kind of buff them together because I don't want to use my finger and like take it away like cover it too much with my fat fingers but I want to make sure that they are blended so I'm putting like just the littlest amount like nothing too crazy to just help Blend it together. And then again, I'm going to take the brush that I used for hooky. Just kind of clean up the crease area. And then I'm going to take the brush with Stay Golden, dip it in just a little bit, and just blend it all back together. So I'm going to take Issues, which is that matte ivory shade, and kind of, like, I don't highlight my brown bone, but I'm just going to put it up there to help diffuse some more. And I prefer, like, a matte brow bone highlight versus a shimmery one. That's just me, especially since I generally do shimmer all over the lid, so I don't feel the need to boom, 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 lots of shimmer. It's just me. Like, I already do all over the lid and on my inner corners. So I just try my best to just keep the, everything above basically my crease matte. It's just how it is, how it goes. Okay, so let's... For the primer, I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I have been liking this. However, I used it on Saturday, I think it was, like this last week. And... I had to do my makeup three times that day and I don't know if I was off like it just I was just ugh, and I was off or if it was um I was using too much not enough my skincare I don't know my skin just wasn't liking it but my um base looked terrible every time and it was breaking up and it never does with this primer so We'll see. It, like, the season's changing, so obviously I need to switch up my stuff. I am switching up and using the Beauty, blah, 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 the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I'm back to that because it was my holy grail last winter. And I think it's because it's... Dr mm, I won't say super dry because like I live in the desert. It's always dry. Um, but I think it's a little bit more hydrating. And I'm not sweating a lot, so it works a little bit better with my skin. I think that's the case. So I'm just rinsing it in. I will say that I did add um, three new things to my skincare regimen 
but I took away the, what they were. They're not really replacing. I'm testing them out, but I did add them to, and it's part of the L'Oreal Revitalift line. Um, one of them is the glycolic acid serum, which my skin has been loving because most like glyco glycolic acids, like um, the Pixie Glow Tonic and the Tarte Knockout Tingling um, stuff is a glycolic acid. And while they're great, they do have there, if you have sensitive skin, they can burn your skin and not burn like you'll have burns, but like there's a burning sensation, like a tingling sensation. Like obviously with the Tarte one, it's in the name. So they can be just a little harsh on the skin. I should say that. I'll say that. They're a little bit more harsh on the skin. Whereas this um, one from L'Oreal, a little bit nicer because it's, it's a serum and not just a straight liquid, but it also is has um aloe vera in it which makes it nice and soothing and feels so hydrating I I, I absolutely loved it I absolutely love it it is amazing and then um the other one is the Revitalift moisturizer and it says you can use it for daytime or nighttime however I find it to be a little heavy for daytime use so I only use it when I go to bed and but I have noticed I don't know if you can see that you can see less of my acne scarring um but since using both of those I have definitely noticed there's been less visible which is really nice and then the triple power the l'oreal triple power um sunscreen moisturizer and sunscreen i've been using that which i'm not a huge fan of that like i like it don't get me wrong not a bad sunscreen whatsoever but because it is a chemical sunscreen and i've been trying to stay away from those it is kind of like eh. but i like it it does moisturize my face and it's got an spf of 30 which hey protection like that's ultimately the goal so I have been using those so since using them I have noticed a difference in the texture of my skin been really enjoying that so I'm gonna highlight the rest of my face with the Too Faced Born This Way I really do like this um but in all honesty I do think there is a little bit of a learning curve with it because while yes it is full coverage um I'm gonna say like barest like super itty bitty tiniest less coverage than like shape tape it is a lot more hydrating so and like dewy so like the good thing is is that means you have more time to kind of play with it but also because of that I think you're a little bit more susceptible to creasing if you don't do it right. So like I'm still I'm still learning how to get it. Oops, that went too far, so let's fix it on this side. Um, so I'm still learning, but I so far I do really like it. So it's not bad by any means. Just a learning curve. I would like to get like a darker shade, um, like one or two shades darker for like my everyday no makeup days, and then also like two shades darker for like contour like so darker than my foundation shade I should say um so what I found best is using a Jackie Ina technique she lets it sit which like I said you really need to but then she takes her like a flat I don't know if this is natural hair or synthetic honestly it's just a flat shader brush and like she pats it in with that and then goes in with a beauty blender and I find or beauty sponge beauty blender whatever it is that you are working with and I find like that is the best way to do it especially under the eyes so like you keep the majority of your coverage but um it becomes really flawless in my opinion and one of the things that I've been 
I go through phases where I stop using certain products and it's not because I don't like them or anything. It's just like, especially like skincare related, it, the routine kind of gets so overwhelming that you kind of just feel like, okay, what's the simplest way to get my, this done? Cause I want to go to bed type deal. So I had been neglecting under eye cream and a couple of weeks ago, um, I started using the belief hydro the under eye hydro bomb oh my god so amazing I had like a little trial size that I had never used and I've been using it love it and I'm so I'm very sad for the day that I have to go purchase a full-sized one because I haven't found like a trial or a travel size one because it is expensive I have noticed that when I do use that versus like days that I don't use it like my under eye looks so so much but like my concealer sits so much better when I use it on those days versus on days that I don't so if you're ever having issues with like your concealer and you can't figure out what the problem is try adding an eye cream if you don't already have one to your skincare routine um because Honestly, like this doesn't crease too much. If I don't use the eye cream, then it creases just the littlest. But if I do use the eye cream day and night, like keep it going, keep it in your routine. You're using it day and night when you do your skincare routine. Um, I noticed that everything sits better under my eye. It doesn't look cakey after 10 minutes, even when I use powders under there. So that is definitely my tick. And then I also start from the bottom. I started doing this or you start at the bottom and like the sides of your nose, if you got like a lot on there, like I did before going directly under your eyes, you're giving it enough time to like have your under eye heated up and let it meld into the skin, but also like still giving it the maximum coverage to where it's not over taking and just like how it's gonna look so hydrating and flawless without looking super cakey but uh, I can't get over it so again just use one and I'm using more I don't know if you can tell but it's like a more peachy color to help correct my under eye area because I do have really bad dark circles so, that's another reason why I kind of want, like, a darker shade. And I might look into getting, like, one. I know that they have some more red, redder toned. Um, I know they have more red toned concealers that are more for, like, contouring and stuff like that. And I might grab one of those just to do a little color correcting under my eyes. I think that would be a good idea. So, like, look at that. I think it, it's stunning to me, like, honestly. So I'm not saying that I like it 100% more than my Shape Tape, which I love super, but them mixed together makes a really great combo, too. I've done that, too. So I'm going to set it with the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Powder. Honestly, I don't know if I've ever set it here, but if you don't know, it is literally, like, my favorite setting spray, or setting powder. I know a lot of people love the... Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, but honestly, for me, it is way too drying, even when I'm not, like, baking with it. And I'm going to do, like, a slight bake with this, not a a really big bake, but yeah, no, I, that's, it's way too drying, and I just, I can't get on board with it, so I just really like this one better, honestly. I find it a lot better. I'm just gonna sit. Take the sponge again. Hmm. I'm not baking here, just more pressing, like really pressing the powder into my skin in those areas because that's obviously where I crease when talking and smiling and, you know, being human. I'm back on. Watching my calories and all of that fun stuff. No, it's not really fun. Honest to God. <laughs> um, it's so tedious. Like, it's a tedious job, but 
I have to do it. If I don't, then I just eat whatever I want and I gained a lot of weight. So I'm back on being smart and healthy. Like, I wish I was one of those people, like, honestly, God, I do, that I can eat just anything that I want and never gain weight. I wish I was that person. But I also wish I was that type of person that, like, could really enjoy just exercising for, like, three or four hours a day. I wish I could be that person, but unless I'm not. Like, I enjoy exercising. Like, when I don't exercise the three days that I normally do, I do miss it. However, I can't motivate myself to, like, exercise at home. Does that make sense? Like, when I go to the gym and I work out, totally cool, totally on it. But when I come home, I wish I could do the other four days of the week at home. But I just, I can't. It's just, it's terrible. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe that away so we can finish our eyes. And the rest of our face. That's also going to be my blush brush. I forgot my powder brush. It's all good. This is the great thing about makeup and the tools in which that we have for each one. I'm just patting everything kind of in, but also to help. As a, like It's damp. It's not stopping wet, but it'll at least help uh, add a little bit life to the powder. Um, just like setting spray will. I forgot mine for in here, but I'll put it on as soon as I'm done, which will either be Mac Fix Plus, Urban Decay All Nighter, Makeup Forever, Mist and Fix. One of those three. Um, I will definitely list it in the description box instead of going and getting it right now. Just letting you know. Um, so basically... I'm going to do what we did up top, so, but I'm going to go in with Hooky first, and then I'll blend that out with, I'll blend that out with, um, Stay Golden, the purpley shade. And we're just going to connect it to the outer portion and drag it all the way in. Is there any, like, looks that you want me to try? I have a look that I want to try. Um, and I might go... I'm also going to try to start uploading more often. Um, there's a look I'm going to try. So I might post it on Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll see. Um, but Katie... Lester Lux, I think is what she's also known as, if you don't. Um, she did the Dose of Colors with Desi Perkin, the BFF palette. Um, that Katie. She did a look using the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette that I want to try to recreate. However, it is so far out of my comfort zone because it's a cut crease. So, we'll see. I'm going to attempt it. And we'll, see, we'll go from there. Um... But, yes, I did buy that. I'm for sure about that while I was in Vegas because that's when it it went, or you could buy it. It was finally available while I was in Vegas. I picked it up. I also went to, oh, I, so, like, I'm not a huge, <laughs> not a huge. So, like, I don't normally do all of the stuff that is available to me as a Rouge member. But while I was in Vegas, they had their holiday preview event for Rouge members, which I was like, I need to go to Sephora anyway to get the the naked palette. So I was just like, might as well go to this. And it was really cool. Very, um, I was the first one there, which I know it sounds funny considering like I didn't upload last week, but I'm one of those people and it's from being married to my husband that, uh, I learned to be early to be on time. So, like, generally, if something starts at 8, I'm there at 7.45. Like, I'm always there 15 minutes early. So, like, this event started at 8.30. I was literally there at, like, 8.15, 8 o'clock. <laughs> Just because, like, I didn't know how many people were going to show up. I didn't know if there needed to be a line. I didn't know anything. Like, it's Vegas. You never know. Like, 
right? So I showed up. I was the first one there. I was literally the first one in the store, which is really cool, but it's a huge store. Like, I'm used to the ones um, that are here in the malls, so they're smaller and more compact, and they have less product there. Um, so, like, in this one, we went to the one at the Venetian. It's a standalone. It has, like, all of Natasha Denona. Everything's there. It has, you know... All of the other brands that you might have, like, three items in, like, my mall store. So, like, it was so overwhelming to be the only one in there with all the workers. But it was a really cool experience, too, at the same time. So, I thought I'd share that one. Like, that was really fun. I felt kind of like, well, a VIP. Like, a VIP person. Like, they closed the store down just for me, even though they really did it. <laughs> um, so, it was really fun. And so, uh, you know, I spent the money to get the tote. I wanted it. They had, if you spent like $75, you get a free tote. I spent $75. Well, like <laughs> the Urban Decay palette is 50 bucks on its own. So it really wasn't that much of a hardship, but I was so excited. And it's so cute. It's not my gym bag. Like, I didn't need a tote. Like, it's it's a more of a duffel bag. Like, I didn't need it. But I was just like... Hmm. Uh, I'm using the Milani um, Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. Like, literally, this is my favorite powder. Um, at least drugstore. I haven't tried, like, Hula. Like, I know, which is everybody's, like cult fave and then same with like the Marc Jacobs bronzer that everybody loves like I've never tried those but from what I do have oh sorry my ugh. it's one of the reasons why my hair is generally up um from what I have tried like this is my favorite I like my Tarte um Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette that's really nice to be able to do contour and all of that stuff. Um, but, like, for just an everyday bronzer, this is my go-to. And then, um, I bought the Natasha Denona, like, mini, um, contour and highlight thing while there. That was, like, what pushed me over my $75. And I'm kind of disappointed in it, and... I don't know if I just thought it was going to be better, better, but it's kind of, like, the highlight is super chunky. I'm using the Wet n' Wild Golden Flower Crown. Um, I do have the highlight from this collection, though. That was at Ulta. I just, I wanted to use this one. Um, but I don't know if it's just because it's, like, it's either too pigmented and I gotta figure out how to work with it or what, but every time I've used it, it's kind of been muddy on me. So, I'm not a huge fan of it. And then the glitter, and then the highlight shade in it is super glittery, and that too kind of just made me sad. Because I'm not, I don't like a super glittery highlight. I don't mind it, but like, I'm not like, oh my god, no, never. It's just, I was kind of hoping for more, you know, I was just a little bit disappointed because. I love Natasha Denona shadows, so I was kind of thinking this was going to be a good one. I'm going to use the ColourPop um, blush in Frisky Business. I love this because it's, like, you can build it up, but it's kind of subtle. And it makes me just, like, it adds the color back out that I want into my cheeks, but it doesn't overwhelm and you can build it up or leave it super light-handed which obviously looks like I'm just gonna keep packing it on I think I'm just gonna use my high the highlighter the wet n wild highlighter for an inner corner highlight and I didn't grab a brush for that so I'm just gonna use my pinky I gotta use the clean one though and I like to take mine if you haven't noticed up towards the crease and a little on the inner like the very inner 16th 30 30th part of my eye so like I like doing up because I think it opens the eye a little bit 
but it also just like adds a little bit more dimension to it. So um, I love doing that. Which is ironic because I've been doing it for a while and like just recently I saw Allie Glein start doing it. I was like, I already did that. I'm so on trend. Just kidding. I don't talk like that. I'm 29 years old. I don't talk like that and I don't know how to to sound cool you know like the whole when on fleek was a thing no Mm -mm. Mm -mm. no like I didn't learn about it until like way later but no Mm -mm. not at all that's not who I am I can't pretend to be um I'm gonna fill in my brows with the mellow brow definer I really love this however I don't know if you noticed there's like a patch missing I had like an infected or ingrown um, eyebrow hair and I plucked out 10 before I got the right one so gotta fill them in a little bit my mother and yes I'm calling her mother normally call a mom Unless she's in trouble. And in this case, she's kind of in trouble. So this weekend, she was supposed to come stay with me while and my daughter while my husband was out of town. And her car, her truck broke down, so she couldn't. But we had a storm Thursday night. And my mother found a cat and let it in. And now my daughter is obsessed and wants her own cat. And I told her, she has to ask daddy. So, she, but she's very specific. She wants a white cat. My dad, my, not my dad, my husband is not a cat person though. So, she's, though he does, she is, he has, she, he's wrapped around her finger. So, we'll see what happens maybe in a few years. This is the Maybelline Brow Drama. Such a weird spoolie, but I like it. How about those for brows? Okay. And coming to an end, guys, we are. So, mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. However, I really do like the wand for doing lower lashes because of this skinnier front half it does make it a little bit easier I know terrible face I'm gonna go in with doozy the color pop ultra bottle lip again it's part of the Epsis and O's collection at um, Ulta uh, when they first announced the collection, I wasn't, not to say that I, like, I don't like ColourPop, I just, I was kind of like, eh, whatever, but then I saw it in person, and I was like, ooh, I really like that, and I've never tried the old, look, I've never tried ultra bottled lips, but, um, my niece got the other one, Zuma, I think is what it is, and... I really like that. So, like, I went back, like, two days later. Legit, like, two days. Actually, I don't even think it was two days. I think it was, like, the following day. Um, to get it. And they were sold out. And I was only stuck with Doozy. And I was like, well, it's really pretty. I figured I'd give it a try. It's really comfortable and you can build up the pigment a little bit definitely great for like an everyday look though so that way if you want to like this color specifically um like if you want to build um have a little bit of something but not boom in your face bright red especially for fall because like obviously fall and like dark vampy lips are a thing which i really like this i'm gonna Let's see if this works. But I'm going to top it off with the 
the Lux lipstick in Uno Mas. It is a cream, which, honest to God, this looks peachy and this looks more brown. They gotta work on their color schemes there. So for being a cream, or creme, it's not super creamy. But I do kind of like how that toned it down. So my uh, Maybelline lipstick is definitely cream. Um, the Baddest Beige is definitely a lot creamier and glidier, which is what I was kind of hoping that this would kind of have that same feel to it. But it doesn't. Here's the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell in case you want to be notified of every time that I upload. And I will see you in my next one.